Welcome to the Hi Hashtaggers, welcome to your daily digital fix of the IPC Athletics World Championships. This is Hashtag Doha 2050. Coming up, we get to know some South African roomies, we find out how you make an impact on your first major event, and uh, this is my mate Dave. Hi. I'm JJ's mate Dave. Join him later where he'll show you a little bit of my preparations for the IPC Athletics World Championships. But first, let's meet South Africa's Anne Renee Liebenberg and Ilsa Hayes. Yes, back by popular demand, it's the return of Roomies. Well, um, I'd say between us, I think both. She's more in the, um, what, do, what do you call it, the um, uh, hands and knees position than I am, because she's a 400 meter athlete. <laughs> There's some stuff lying around, but um, uh, yeah, well, you know, I'm not going to talk out of our room. Um, I win that, I think. <laughs> You'll just wear habit. Um, I think it would say um, the habit of saying um. <laughs> um, she kind of sometimes talks quickly and yeah, like needs a filter. <laughs> And the girls can celebrate a Rumi's gold as Anne Renee produced a brilliant run to win the 400 meters T47. Now she's rooting for her Rumi in the 200 meters T13 on Tuesday. Two titans of the track, Walid Katila and Rawat Tana of Tunisia and Thailand, were trying to take second title on the track today. But r really? I mean, who, who writes this stuff? Katilla won the 800m T34 to follow up his victory from the 400m on Saturday, while Tana beat the likes of Marcel Hug and David Weir to win the 5000m T54. Now you're 15 years old, you're appearing in your first major championship and you're thousands of miles away from home. Scared? Not if you're Ireland's Noel Lenihan, who simply went out and broke the discus F38 world record. She finished second behind F37 thrower Mina of China. I'm absolutely excited. Like it's, I've got a PB, a world record, and a silver medal. Like you can't ask for better than that. Like I just came in looking for a PB, and I came up with this, and I'm just delighted. Noelle's record was one of five today, which brings our total up to ting 27. Now we'll take a look at the medals tables. Four more golds for China today takes them to 22 way ahead of Russia, the United States, Britain and Tunisia. In all, 55 nations have won at least one medal in Doha so far. Now we'll take a look at the world of social media. Our first one comes from Instagram and it's a picture of Raul Moya. He was the guide of Chile's Christian Valenzuela and he was the winner of the 5000m T11. The next one is from Twitter. Now I don't speak Spanish but it's from at Marta Go Batelli, and it says, I'm told, the first time that the Spanish national anthem has been heard in Doha in honour of Gerard Descarrega, who won the 400 meters T11 yesterday. And finally, we have a tweet from at Wheelie Sport Girl. She said, Team GB captain Paul Blake getting Brit Athletics seventh gold medal at Doha. That was in the 800 meters T36, and she went on to say, Road to Rio is looking promising. Now for the last few years, my mate Dave Henson and I have lived parallel lives. We both served in Afghanistan where we were wounded. We went through rehab together and now he's about to make his international debut for Great Britain. And I'm sitting in a cupboard talking to you about it. But I have no idea what Dave actually does. So I asked him. It's the uh, day before my race. Uh, I just woke up a bit late, which is okay. Blackout lines are awesome. This is the hotel we're staying at. It's quite impressive. The team. <laughs> if you want to know my secret trick for race day, group pastels. It's the trackside gym. The Alarabi. It 
really is quite simple. You sleep, you eat, you train, repeat. But that's it. There's a lot of just resting your legs, so I, I spend quite a lot of time just sort of sat reading PhD papers or reading my book uh, with my legs off, just resting my stumps. I hope this has given you a bit more of an insight into what life is like out here. Uh, and I'll catch up with you soon. Dave makes his debut in the heat of the 200 meters T42 on Tuesday. Get him, Dave! Oh, sorry. Anyway, that's all we've got time for. Comment below and hashtag Doha2015.